like I said, I hope you're ready for this. I'm getting ready to mail this out. I don't want it to be no misunderstandings. That's my sister, Teresa Davis. That's the U.S. courts. Like I said, I ain't got to go to the courts and put this toilet out. I'm going to send this to the courts. You feel me? Watch Chief Justice Roberts, Antonio. I put it on YouTube. All right. Like I said, everybody that's involved, we're going to make sure that the world get to see this. It's an ex-felon program. We're going to make sure that the world see this. We're going to get them to pay attention. And they pay attention to oddities and dumb ass shit. So I'm going to give you something to see. That's Chucky. I'm open. Winter, spring, summer, and fall all year round. And we're going to talk about mass incarceration in the prison industry. Because if I go to jail, I got to share that toilet with somebody. DMX had Damien. I got Chucky. And that's Mayor Pugh. Because Mayor Pugh knew about this from the beginning. Since she was a Senator Pugh. I'm with Alpha Justice. I'm a black Republican. And we're talking about informing the courts about this. This is Governor Hogan, so we don't have no misunderstandings. Governor Hogan had this in 2016. All right? Keith Hayes, Broschini, all right? Gardner. I'm asking for an audit. I'm asking for an audit. The same way that y'all going after DeSouza, went after DeSouza. I've been asking for an audit for eight years, for 10 years. I want to state in a federal audit on Jake's Grill and Shorty's Bootleg Barbecue. Like I said, Pew know about it. The state's attorney know about it. O'Malley know about it. Chief of Police know about it. I asked for a federal and a state audit. Because if you do a federal and state audit, you're going to unravel the corruption here. You feel me? I'm going to give you something to see. It's the criminalization of poverty. It's about being black and white America. So we're going to show Caminettes. Because see, oh, let Oleski asked for evidence. This is evidence. This is evidence about your courts and about your corruption and about your prison industry. About Governor O'Malley. You ask for evidence, I'm going to give you evidence about your prison industry. You locked me up for making this movie and this documentary. The media knew about this. You feel me? Because it was about the role that the media plays. Y'all had Rikers Island? I gave you the same thing that Rikers Island gave you. I gave you Rikers Island right here. Dear Mr. O'Neill, letters to response to the intentions. You feel me? Lawyer client privilege. I gave you your jail system. And I showed you who uses it to get rich. This is me. Christmas Eve. I went to jail for shooting a documentary. I went home on vacation. I came back on probation. You feel me? I got everything documented so we don't have no misunderstandings about nothing. And Hogan got it. Anthony Muse got it. And Chucky gonna re-deliver it. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. I went home on vacation. I came back on probation. You charged me with a terrorist activity. You feel me? Then you did the same thing in 2011. I was leaving town to go to Vegas and you charged me with a bomb threat. We were talking about this case right here. That's a $54 million lawsuit. Why would I threaten to blow up the court and I got to go to court to get paid? I won my case by a jury trial. Now it's time to compensate me for my losses. We're talking about mass incarceration in your prison industry. You feel me? We're talking about how you get rich. Y'all made me homeless because of this. And you can go to Senator Cardin's office and get this information. You can go to Zirkin's office. Because I asked for a grand jury investigation into your prison industry. President Obama asked for it. Not only that, I filed criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. These are the criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. For a federal investigation into your courts. Into your courts. Johnny Oleski, you asked for evidence. This is evidence. This is evidence for what you asked for. And it's out there for you. You feel me? It's a film festival. It's about mass incarceration in your prison industry in your illegal war on drugs. And I'm putting you out there for everybody to see. Like I say, dirty laundry. Call the police. Because this is going to be in front of City Hall on, on Christmas Day. You feel me? On Christmas Day, I'm going to put this in front of City Hall. Y'all going to see this when I feed the homeless. Because y'all going to see my grill. 
You feel me? And I'm going to give it to you just like this. Unjust enrichment. While I was locked up in another state, my son made $2.6 million over 10 years. He was grossing $260,000 a year. The state of Maryland participated in the fraud. And here it is. You feel me? I'm a Baltimore City resident. And I'm also the victim here. That case is going to send a lot of y'all to jail, one way or the other. Like I said, I made a documentary in the movie. The movie's about your prison industry. I made a movie about the return because I'm an ex-felon. You can go to North County High School. I was doing this in the high schools. Y'all put me out of the high schools for doing it. Christmas Eve 2007. You feel me? A bomb threat. We're going to talk about the contents of that envelope. Because the state took it. It was a DVD and a video. You feel me? We're going to revisit the past. Ghosts from your past. And we're going to show the role that the media played in this. Because they got this information. You feel me? CBS Radio got this. You feel me? About Christmas and our, our ex felons that's locked up can't come home behind this war on drugs. Like I said, everything here is in Governor Hogan's office. You can get it from him. President Obama asked for an investigation. You feel me? That's me. That's me. I'm the subject of the investigation. And this is the property that you stole. So go to Governor Hogan and get this information. Because like I said, this is going to be very, very public. I'm a public speaker. I'm an activist and a filmmaker. And the film is about your court and your illegal war on drugs. You want to end this? Give me a state and a federal audit. Peter Frankot got this. Been sitting on it for a while. Like I said, it's a fight for my life. Parole and probation. Mass incarceration. Amnesty International, y'all. There goes Shorty. That's Amnesty International, because like I said... I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America has to respect? If Martin was here, what would Martin do? I go to jail for the right reason. I went to jail to prove a point. I'm willing to go to jail again. The question is, are you? Jesus had a cross. Martin had a dream. Malcolm got a gun. Shorty got a toilet. That's the shit we got to deal with. So Mayor Pugh, Governor Hogan, don't act like you don't know me. We took a, pic a picture for Christmas. You gave me a little puppy dog, told me to go play. Well, I'm going to come play on City Hall on, on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, I'm feeding the homeless. I'm feeding the homeless at, 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 at City Hall because I am homeless. I'm homeless because of our government. And I want what you owe me. And I'm bringing this toilet. Everything you see here is going to be in front of City Hall on Christmas Eve. Call it the story of Job. I'm claiming what belonged to me. Hug me. Don't shoot me. Don't hate the play. I hate the game. And I'm going to send all this shit to Donald Trump. So do what you do. People pay attention to dumbass shit. And this is as dumb as it going to get. I'm ignorantly intelligent. We're going to talk about the illegal war on drugs and mass incarceration in the prison industry. And I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. And they paying attention to this dumb ass shit. You feel me? They paying attention. Imagine what is going to happen when I take this down to the Inner Harbor. The Towson Courthouse. And they start seeing Chucky. You feel me? What y'all gonna do when y'all start, the tourists start seeing this shit? I'm ignorantly intelligent. I'm gonna give you something to see. Like I told you when you started this, you'd rather go through hell with gasoline draws on than fuck with that short motherfucker. Well, I'm getting ready to light y'all's asses up. Mike, check that.